All right, guys, so here I am with the Durango. We're gonna put it on a couple jacks here in just a moment, but I just wanted to show you the side view of these tires and these wheels. There's the front looking straight down and there's the rears, as you can see how much they're sticking out. So what the goal is to do is to see if this 35 offset tire can go on here with a six millimeter spacer and see if it clears the brakes. Now, if you look here, okay, I don't know if you guys can see this. I cannot stick my finger in between the rim and the brake caliper right here. It's very close. Now, when I bought these wheels, these were not bought brand new from Velgen. They were bought uh, used from a buddy off the Facebook form. And Velgen, when they sell these wheels for the Durango, the front wheels were a 32 offset to be able to clear this brake caliper. And then the, the rears were at 35. But the only problem with that is that you can't rotate your tires to get even wear. Now, if you look at my tires here, I got a decent amount of tread left on those. But on my rear tires, since I do a lot of burnouts, I don't have that much left. I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's getting very close. So what I want to do is move these to the front. And the only way to do that is either A, I take the tire off the rim and mount it on those rims, or I just leave it on there and I put the spacer. So let's go ahead and we're going to take this wheel off. And we're going to take that one off and let's see what we got. Okay guys, so I've got the jacks in place, about to lift it up here. Got my wheel lock adapter here to get the lug nuts off. What I wanna show you is the spacer. I went ahead and got this. It's a six millimeter spacer. It is a 6,000 series aluminum. It is iodized and all that good stuff here. It's really nice. It's got the little hub centric type thing here and it does fit my particular bolt pattern. It is kind of a universal type one, so it is able to fit on a lot of them, but if you look right there, you can see five by 127. That is what mine is for, so we should be good to go with the adapter on there for it. But we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, on and see what we got. All right, guys, so I have gotten the vehicle jacked up and I've taken off the rear wheel and the front wheel. Now, one thing I did forget to kind of tell you guys here is the way that I was able to differentiate what wheel is what, my front tires have the Lexani LX20s on them. Those were the wheels that went into the front. On my back tires, I ran the Aturo AZ850s. So that's how I kind of knew. If you look at the tire tread on the AZ850s, it's got a pretty drag radio type of look where the Lexani has that more of an all season uh, type on there. So you guys can really kind of see. I still got pretty decent tread on this one, not much, but a good amount of all season. But my Alturos, Alturos, you can see they're getting pretty low. So I don't have much left in this. I just want to be able to even out the tires as best I can. So we're going to go ahead I got the spacer there on the hood. Let's go ahead and see if this works. All right, guys. So I went ahead and, uh, and I test fitted the Aturo tire, as you can see here by the tread. I did test fit it on here before I put the spacer on just to see if it did clear the caliper. And sure enough, it does not. Uh, like I said, Velgen has those different offsets for a reason. And sure enough, the 35 offset, it does hit my caliper. I don't know, I kind of cleaned it off already. I shouldn't have done that, so you can see. Actually, right here, you can see the little mark right there. It does hit the caliper, it doesn't sit flush. So I do have to use the spacer on there. Uh, what I went ahead and did as well, I got a little cleaning tool. I'm gonna finish this up here, but uh, they do recommend you clean off some of the little rust here. So I'm just doing that now, just to kind of clean it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead, I got the spacer right there. We're gonna go ahead and put this sucker on. And then from there, we're gonna go and see how everything is. So let's go ahead and put that on here. Okay guys, so I went ahead and got the spacer on. Now on this device, 
it does have the lettering facing out. The tapered end goes to the inside. So obviously you wanna see the brand name facing out. But as you can tell here, it is hub-centric. It is, other than just a little give it has for you to get it off and on, this thing is solid. It goes right in, no movement at all. I cleaned it up also too. I took my little grinder and cleaned up the inside of the inner hub as well. So that's nice and pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this on and we're gonna do a quick test fit and see how it goes. All right guys, so I went ahead, since I'm doing this here in my shop, um, I went ahead and put both tires on and I did wanna go ahead and show you. As you can see now, I have the Aturo AZ850s that were on the rear. They're now on the front of the vehicle. And if you look here, you can see the clearance I was telling you about earlier. Look, I can actually get my whole finger in between there now. And that's because of that spacer that is there. So this does turn and clear the caliper. So I probably could have gone a little less of a spacer, like a three mil, but it still would have been close. I'm happy I went with the six. So that way it has that little extra clearance, but it does work guys. And now I have the Lexani, which was the front wheel. It is now on the back. And if you look at how it sticks out, you can't even, I mean, you can barely notice if you look at my fingers, you can barely notice where the thing is right there. And that's only because my camera's not flush with the car. So I have my camera lens now flush with the car, guys. So you can see right there, it just ever so slightly does stick out just a tad. Probably doesn't even really notice it unless you're really, really looking at it there. And uh, not to mention now this side, since it has the extra offset, you can kind of see it literally matches right up with the, uh, the fender there. So really no difference as far as the look. It actually probably looks a little better. I'll have to look in the daytime because right now it is night. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the other side done, guys. But overall, I just wanna let you know, you can use a six millimeter spacer for these Belgian wheels and it will clear. So this is... All right, guys, so currently at a car meet right now, if you can't tell. I just thought I'd kind of show you here real quick. But now that it's daylight, I'm gonna go ahead and show you with the wheels and tires adjusted just so you can see how much it sticks out. And as you can see, it just barely, barely sticks out. So it's not even noticeable to be honest with you. It still looks really good. And here's the rear. Technically the rear is now sticking out just ever so slightly, but it still looks good. So overall guys, the spacers are working. I'm gonna have to get them retorqued after about 50 miles or so. So I'll go ahead and do that. But right now I have, my Lexanis are now in the back and my Turos are now in the front and I can go ahead and uh, start doing some more burnouts. So that'll be it for this one.